Hey, this is Jody. Welcome to Northern Country Creations. And I am so excited about finishing my recipe, uh, my retro recipe um, cookbook, recipe collector. Um, so I have so many recipes that I have ha handed down from generations and and then my own that I've collected. And I am just so tired of having them here and there and stuffed into other recipe books. And then, um, and then one day I was on YouTube and I found Lace Covered Skies. She does retro um, books, junk journals like this. And this is what got me started. I was just so intrigued with the vintage and the, the um, retro type um junk journals that I just love them so much and I started um I'm like oh my gosh I am going to do my own junk journal so I am so excited to bring you mine um and here it is all finished and um I have th this um is a, a children's book from a long time ago and um, I actually have the video, I think, already posted of, um, of what the book looked like in the beginning process. So I have that as well. Um, so I've got um, a extended spine here that I ex extended to, um, let me see, take a measurement here. Um, looks like... Um, just about two and a half um, I extended it to and 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 then I did nothing with the back so um, um, I did want to have something up here that maybe said recipes or favorites or something like that and I wanted it to be vintage but I have not ran into anything that I really want to put right here for like the title of my junk journal but I wanted to keep it very plain, um, you know, this retro picture of uh, Reynolds Wrap in the kitchen just really intrigued me, um, went with the cherries um, on here. I found this fabric at, I think it was Joann's, and it went well with the book, and I'm just like, this is it. So this has been Mod Podged on here. And then for my fastener... This is, um, actually, um, I think I have, I think I have the tag, I think I did, or put it somewhere, um, of what the, the name of this, um, clasp is, and if I can find it, um, where did I stick it? I thought I, I know I saved it because I wanted to talk about it in case someone else wanted to look it up. Um, when I find it, um, I will link it in the video below. Um, I just don't have it handy right now. But anyways, this is um, the type of clasp. I drilled two holes, and then I sewed on um, with buttons on the back side. So that is what's preventing it from coming out. Um, it also is also glued down also. Um, so that is how it is fixed on there and then I have a little um a little mushroom charm that's on here and then this just uh slides I'm not sure if I'm getting a very good picture for you and so then this just slides on here um you know wherever you want it to fall you know in your in your journal and then the back of it is um uh what do you call it the little eyelet and then in the back is my ribbon and then this is a charm that slides so that when the book the book gets fuller you can adjust this and it looks really nice on the inside cover um, so there's nothing you know I mean it, it's tight so but you adjust it to um, you know however thick you want it so yeah, so anyways, um, let's get started, and I want to show, I can't wait to show you, um, I'm just so excited about this book. Um, so, uh, let me get some of my cards here ready. Um, so, um, everything in this book 
is uh, from vintage. There is nothing that is digital. Um, I just don't like digital or printed stuff. I actually use, um, you know, the true junk journal, um, you know, refurbishing things. So um, these are all images that I carefully selected that I liked that was really, um, you know, that um, made me feel good looking at. So make sure I'm in frame here for you. So this is, um, there's no sewn, you know, it's a hidden spine, so there's nothing showing. So anyways, um, so I have mainly everything is cardstock and um, some type of papers, but um, I wanted this book to last a very long time to hand down to my daughter. So, um, so there's cards, recipe cards here. And then so this is a this is a vintage recipe that actually I found in a vintage recipe book that I had gotten at a thrift store or garage sale. So these are all pockets. Um, so what I did was if I don't have a recipe, if I have one in the back and I don't have anything here, I wanted to see something really cool. So I glued um, some just retro images of out of cookbooks that I thought would be really cool to look at. So if the recipe's out or I'm using it or I don't have anything in there, just maybe I have a recipe in the back, I still wanted to see some beautiful things. So that's what I did with most of these. And then this is a pocket. This is a pocket here. Again, vintage, vintage photos from books and magazines and catalogs. Pocket here. This is a vintage best, uh, Betty Crocker step by step recipe. And here's a um, Jack Frost warmer recipe. Okay, these pages are from um, a recipe book. And what I did is I liked seeing the whole entire retro um, image here. So I sewed on and sometimes I glued and sewed actually um, clear photo slots. So you can have a recipe here, and like I said, when there's nothing in there, I still wanted to be able to see some really neat things. Recipe there. This is a, you know, an old-fashioned work basket subscription. Recipe can go in there or whatever. Spot there. Another spot here. Pocket here. Lots of room to write new recipes. Storage here. Storage here. These are all vintage book um, recipes. Here's a little flip out of nothing but um, recipe recording pocket here. Here is another recipe um, image from a child's thing that's backed onto cardstock and then sewed and then put there. This is a vintage um, tablecloth that I put on some uh, edging here and I made a big pocket out of it. Another pocket here. Some cool vellum. Here's a tuck spot for a recipe card can go there. Clear spot here. Two-sided pocket here. One here and one here. Some retro images again. Pocket here. There's a pull out here of recipes. This pocket's on this side. Vintage. Most of these ones are from the child craft books, 1950s, 1960s. Most all of these types of images. Um, this is probably from my Time Life old magazine. Um, in vintage books, just random, uh, just a card here, pocket. Okay, this is an envelope with some vintage wrapping paper and then I kind of just tore out um, just randomly um, vintage recipe, child well, from children's recipe book. And then there's a pocket here. This is an old cake decorating um, little pamphlet and then a vintage lady here. And then, so mine, I put in categories for what I use. 
And so the first set um, of recipes, I don't really have any, um, it's not any category. So these are just random. But then I start with starters and spreads and dips and things like that. It's all This is all vintage. Sewed on some edging. This is some old wallpaper border. Made a pocket up here with a big recipe card. Tucks in there. You can see it okay. Then there's a window here with a recipe card. And then these are pockets for recipe cards. And again, something nice and fun to look at. These are end papers from recipe, old recipe books. And then I just love this, a door that goes around and around. <laughs> just love that, it's from a vintage book. Here is some um, embroidered vintage fabric. Uh, I think it was like a napkin or doily um, pocket there. Pocket here. Here's a little vintage sewing machine, or I mean um, typewriter. General Electric, and then so you can, I can write recipe on the back of there, pocket, lots of room, another end paper. Here's another really cool picture of a family, um, generational family picture of uh, backyard cooking. And then I have a fold out here, pocket here, and then here is some more of those photo um, papers that I adapted and made into here. So again, these are all pockets that you can put your recipe cards in. And here is some recipes that I personally liked, some avocado dip and guacamole that I wanted to look at and also still um, see it in there. Again, um, you know, this is where you put your pocket in here. I gotta glue that back on, looks like. And then um, here again, same thing, I love this retro style setting um, for tables. And then here's the same thing on this one. Okay, so that's a fold out. Again, another vintage um, thing about cooking, dips, dunks, and spreads. Talks about how you do it and make it. So here's meats and main dishes. Again, vintage. This folds out. Nice move my book here a little bit so you can see it. So this folds out, this also folds down, and then this folds out so you can see some vintage items here. Recipe writing can go here. Okay, and um, another pocket here. Here's a big old journaling card. Um, this is all just decoupage down here from vintage books. So. There, nice card, some edging, another uh, vintage picture. Here's all these recipe cards that you can write on. So here's some more clear. This is a, oops, get my little card here. This is a pocket. Another clear one for recipe. Love this picture of a little boy and he's <laughs> showing us putting his put my steak on. <laughs> um, this one here, this is part of a page of a, um, I think it's a, he's rolling dough on a counter, so he's cooking. And then this flips out. This flips out. Little pocket here. This is here. This is a nice background. Okay. Plain one. Here's salads and vegetables. Sew it on some lace. There's a little tuck spot. Vintage uh, recipe card there. Here's another um, pocket from um, a vintage uh, tablecloth. Okay, here's another pocket. I love this old adding machine picture, and then I just kind of decoupage that on there and collaged it. Here's some more end papers from another recipe book. And then this happens to be one of my recipes that I put in here. I knew I wanted it to be in here forever. Um, it's oriental salad, so I just adhered it in here to the back of a card. I can write another recipe here and here. 
Uh, I can also write another recipe here. Um, it's just This is the only thing that's my personal recipe that I've added to the book so far, but I've got to fill it yet, so I can't wait to do that. Okay, another more papers, um, more photo spots again, um, or, you know, for your recipe cards. They're from a photo album. Uh, another one in there on the back side. Here's here, this is um, Popular Mechanics, uh, uh, out of the Popular Mechanics book. This is all on a card folder. Here's another one, Pecan Pie. This is just something that I liked, and it's out of a retro book. It's like a church cookbook. Again, I think this is Popular Mechanics here. Um, another one here, it's a clear pocket. Loved this vintage kitchen about royal jello and baking powder products. Here's things about Fleischmann's yeast, um, pockets there. Another picture for salads. And then, um, this is funny, but I liked this picnic spot um, picture. This is actually a cigarette <laughs> in a Time Life magazine, I believe. But it had to do with picnic basket and stuff. So I covered up the, the cigarette here. And then he kind of has the cigarette sticking out of his mouth. But I just kind of took a pen and colored it in so it matches in the rocks. So Because I didn't want to see anything to do with cigarettes. But I just love this um and this is more like a 60s, 50s, 60s, um, <laughs> you know, throwing out a picnic. All right, and then here, um, another, just another cool vintage uh, picture of a kitchen. And I think there's a pocket. Yep, this is a pocket there. End paper, another pocket. And then here is a double card storage here on this one. And then another big pocket. This is nice um, vintage paper. This is really thick, uh, but I put it on cardstock anyways. And then we get into desserts and sweet buns. And then um, another pocket here. Love these pictures. How to get the most out of your Sunbeam Mix, uh, mix Master. So I loved this red and the picture here. So I put that and put it onto an envelope and then made this into... Um, storage pocket and then here is some vintage um, the work basket uh, papers some more space this is out of time life magazine I believe and here's another pocket this is, has double pockets you can have the front and um, and have a recipe in the back Oops, like you know so there's two two spots to have recipes there um, I love the look of that lady uh, I'm getting out of the oven there. Something. Uh, two more pockets here. And then we have another uh, flip out with a pocket here. And then another clear pocket here. Love this. Vintage refrigerators, Frigidaire appliances. It's kind of cool. Okay. And then... Um, Another recipe part here, and then there's the clear breakfast today, kind of a vintage picture there. Here's some children in a, from a vintage book. And there's two pockets, a back and a front. Pocket here. Okay, then we have um, this one here, strawberry buttercream. I just love this picture with the pinks and the yellows. It's a pocket. Okay, and then here we have a three-way pocket holder. So these are all vintage pictures. So there's a pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket here. And then I used the um, uh, the cake, mm, it's back here somewhere, the rest of it, um, the cake decorating, how to do cake decorating. So I used the edging that they showed you and put it up here. So I thought that was kind of cool. This is part of a file folder, so I made a band out of these jello molds, so you can put recipes here, pocket here for recipes, um, pocket here, and then there's a pocket in the back. And then, of course, there's pockets here, pockets here, and then this one's another big flip out. Hopefully, I'm going to get it all in the picture here for you. Some more space. So this one's got some eyelet, 
old recipe cards here or whatever. And another um, tuck spot here. And then this is just some collaging. The strings sticking out there. Okay. All right, here's a car, recipe card. Some more space. Here's another tuck spot. He's making a sandwich there. And then here is a little folder that I made. So it's, um, this is kind of an adorned paper clip on the edge here. And then it's got a little spot where it holds it shut. Here's a little spot for a recipe. Okay, picture of food preservation. I think that came out of an old encyclopedia. And then you open it up. Just get this in here. Open it up. Here's another great family cooking picture. Here's another recipe spot here. This is a little bag, um, a little like a treat bag. So I adhered a picture there. Put a little card, recipe card that can go in there. And then um, this is all pocket and pocket here. And then um, within this, we're still in the same folder here. And then this is a vintage um, birthday card. And I just thought it was so cool. It's got strawberries on it. And it's strawberry cream pie recipe. And it's got somebody's name. Always your friend Alice. It was really cool. Um, I have no idea the date, but it's vintage, so I put it in this clear spot here. And then, so we can close this. Get to the back here, and this is the back of the book. Again, here is double spots. Here, some children making cereal. Double spot here. Here and then the clear is here. How to knead is there. And then this wonderful twins looking at their cake that was made. So, and that is it. So, that is my retro journal. I am just so excited. I cannot wait to um, fill it up and, and just have fun with it. And then I'll hand it down to my daughter. So hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. I just absolutely loved doing this. Um, I love the vintage stuff. And so I am also working on another retro journal that I will sell. And I will put in uh, my shop. And it is this one here. Um, this is kind of the same type of theme. And um, it's coming along. So here's a little preview of it. And I'll hopefully show some... Um, process videos on how I did some of that. So if, um, if you like my videos and like my stuff, um, please subscribe and share with other people. Um, I'd love to hear your comments on what you thought of my retro journal. And if you have any questions, um, I'd love to hear them. So everyone have a great day and hope everyone is well. Thank you so much.